you know, painting something, pregnancy and labor, same thing, you know, what's, what's the difference? Okay, hold up. Before we get started, I'm so sorry. I have no enthusiasm in the intro and my hair is extremely frizzy. I showered that morning and every time I shower, my hair gets extremely frizzy and I don't know why. So I'm sorry, just bear with me and the painting will get started very soon. Hi, I'm Lily. Welcome back to the Libtastic channel. I've always seen those Instagram ads where you can paint something and it's sectioned off by numbers so you know which paint colors to fill in. I guess I shared that with one of my cousins and she decided to surprise me but me being weird and all when I got that package and I didn't know it was from her or from anyone I was terrified. I thought it was a bomb. Thank you Manhunt Unabomber. After watching that series it just I've never seen life the same way and I also felt like some type of cylindrical feeling inside, so it's like, pipe bomb. I posted about it on Instagram just to see if anybody would respond, and luckily my cousin did, so I felt a lot more relieved, and by then I had actually opened it, because, you know, I live life on the edge. Okay, let's open this baby up. Oh, we have four brushes. Ooh, I'm gonna be a beauty guru. This is huge. Let's get started. It's 12 p.m. right now. And I actually have a chemistry review session at 3.30, so I need to set an alarm for 3.15 to make sure that I can clean up and um, attend that class. So being responsible, you know. Got another, oh gosh, the wooden free. So the brushes have a wooden base. So, if they were touching the water, it would have gotten very moist, and I don't like that. I have to put the stickers on the right numbers, so let's do that. Oh, oh, it's so detailed. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at how tiny all of these sections are, and they're so thin. I like to think that I'm an artist slash intellectual, but um, it's really just a goal in life. This is me becoming an artist, I guess. Ooh, scrumptious. Let's just start in the... Mm, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Let's start here. I am... The wrong quick reference is in here for you all. I have... Well, this one will work for today. Whatever. It's 11-11, and the only wish I'm making right now is that this painting be done. I think I'm developing carpal tunnel. I might have hurt my teeth from clenching my jaw while doing this all day. I'm tired. I've been staring at this pug face for about 10 hours now. I was going to try to hit 12 hours and stop at 12 a.m., but I think it's best that I just continue this tomorrow <laughs> for my sanity. It honestly, I, I don't hate it. It looks pretty good so far. I need to figure out how to better record with this camera. At first, I was just doing like check-in points like every hour. It's 1.11, and I think... I've done all of the ones, and there's plenty of paint left, so I've learned that you just have to be generous with the paint, because then it makes it a lot easier. And then I tried figuring out a way to record this at a certain angle with, with this camera. And then I, I looked back at the camera, and then it said that it stopped recording it. What the heck? So... I don't know when it stopped recording, but it did. Then I realized I still have my phone, you know? I still have that as a camera, so I started time-lapsing it, and I I think I, I started time-lapsing at a good part, so uh, you'll see most of it.
wish me luck tomorrow. I have... <laughs> I have really small details. I mean, there's a lot left to paint, but there's it's all the super skinny small details, not the satisfying big areas to paint, so that'll be fun. So, yeah. Good night for now. Day two, it is 9.30 a.m. and I hope I can finish this by 12. I think my, my voice has changed from the beginning to the end of this video, but we're not at the end yet. Hopefully I can finish this in 24 hours. Let's just go, let's go, day two. and I am officially done with this paint by numbers painting kit. I am exhausted. I will say that. It looks pretty cool though, I will say. I'm just gonna say it took me 24 hours, including sleep. The paintbrushes aren't the best quality and you can't expect the best quality, but they started fraying really quickly and so it became less about painting and more about smearing and pushing the paint in the right areas. It's satisfying when all the places around a certain space are painted already and then you have to fill in that space with the one paint color. Some of the spaces get so skinny but then they still connect to another spot. I'm pretty sure that I just kind of painted over the the part the skinny connection so there were quite a few times when there was just like an empty space and I had no idea what color would is supposed to go there so I just filled it in as I went with random colors because big picture doesn't matter you couldn't tell if I did something wrong or not I would recommend this if you know if you want to just Give yourself some type of activity at night to wind down a little bit, but that requires pacing, and I just didn't really have the patience to pace it out. I really, like once I started, I just wanted to get it over with. Within the time span of painting this, I started watching New Girl again. Started from the very beginning, and now I'm on season two, episode eight. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a journey, if I would say so myself. 
I'll show you overall. I present to you my one and only and my first and I don't know if it'll be my last paint by numbers canvas by numbers painting <laughs> it looks so cute so as we get closer you can see all the little details now you can see it because they're like all different colors look at how crazy this looks I'm honestly really proud of it. it. Wow, this looks awesome. Right there. I could totally put it there. Was it worth it? Possibly. My mind about this whole project has changed in the past minute. Call me crazy, but <laughs> give me another one. <laughs> oh God, I don't know. I something about seeing like the final product just like makes it all worth it it's kind of like pregnancy when a woman is growing a child you know sometimes it can be very uncomfortable and the process might not be as fun I know giving labor is not fun either giving labor I meant to say giving birth or going into labor <sighs> I'm sorry but once you see the final product, once you have your child with you, then it's like your brain or your body releases some type of chemical for you to forget all of the pain and discomfort from pregnancy and giving labor. So that's kind of how I feel. You know, painting something, pregnancy and labor. Same thing, you know, what's what's the difference? I think that was the best analogy I've ever made in my life. Thank you for watching this video of me painting a canvas by numbers. I hope you found the time lapse satisfying enough. And I hope I filled in enough spaces for your satisfaction to be satiated. I have an Instagram now, it's at lim.tastic. You can like, comment, or subscribe if you want, but no pressure. I hope you have a great day. Um, the day is still ahead of me, and it might be for you, but you got this. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, good night. Boop! That felt like a really aggressive boop, so let's try it again. Um, good night. Boop. Boop. I don't know. Night. Boop. Mm.